So I'm going to talk a little bit about Copilot Pro. Copilot Pro is Microsoft's implementation for custom copilots, very similar to OpenAI custom copilots. Different to Copilot Studio, but still has the ability to create a limited copilot, and we're going to create one right now. You need a Pro account, first of all, and it doesn't work with just bog standard Bing Copilot. When you have a Pro account, you can go in and see all your Copilot GPTs, but you have this ability now to create a new Copilot GPT. So if we go away and we do that, we come to our Copilot Builder. Here we can create a new Copilot. I'm going to go away and create a Copilot, and I'm going to call it Nasuni IQ Copilot. And I'm going to say, I am a Copilot that answers questions about Nasuni IQ. Only uploads one file. So that's a limitation. What I've done here is I've uh, run a little script to merge the Nasuni IQ um, dashboard documentation and the installation guide. Um, and I merged it into one PDF file. We're going to upload that file. So that's going to be the, the, the retrieval augmented generation that it will use to create this copilot. And once that file's uploaded, it will be available to the copilot. It will do all of the tokenization, embeddings, and vectorization underneath the hood. We don't need to worry about that. I don't want to browse the web, and I don't want any image generation. I only want it to work on the knowledge base. Now, I've already created some instructions here. So if I go away and paste those, and I'm telling it it's a co-pilot to be able to answer questions about Nasuni IQ, and I've given it some more prompt augmentation here that we don't really need to worry about. At this stage, we're actually ready. I can go away and I can save this co-pilot. Um, so it's done. The co-pilot is created. And then I can preview the co-pilot. So pre previewing the co-pilot just allows me to go away and test this co-pilot out. So we can say something like, you know, what is Nasuni IQ? And we'll, we'll get some answers. And you'll notice search is disabled and it's only using what we've got from the documents. And then we can say something like, um, how do I install Nasuni IQ? And again, it should go away, go into the document and pull out exactly what we need from that document, which has already now done it as part of a, a kind of a rag service. Um, and we can follow that up with, how do I index my volumes with Nasuni IQ? And again, it's going to use the, the actual document that we provided to be able to go away and answer that question. So this is pretty powerful. It's definitely a good way to be able to disseminate information that is relatively public. Now, that's done. Um, it works pretty well. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So if we now go back to actually the co-pilot that we just created and we publish it, I only want it to be shared with anyone who's got a link. Now, the great thing about sharing it is they don't need a pro account to be able to leverage this. I could share this link with somebody who hasn't got a pro account and they'd be able to use now this custom co-pilot. And that's pretty good. So let's test that out. Let's go into Firefox. And let's use that link that we just copied to see if we get our co-pilot. And there we go. This this isn't linked into that account. I've got my Nasuni IQ co-pilot. I could share this out with customers and then they'd be able to just interact with my co-pilot about Nasuni IQ. So that's pretty neat. Anyway, that's the, that's the end of the video. Just wanted to really demonstrate how you could really create very limited core pilots but still useful and be able to share them out really without having to pay too much on the way through.